There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. What? I haven't seen him around lately. Why is his name just my name with the CK? Okay. All right, last where we left off, I've come to acceptance that I am Ifrit, and now Ifrit has awoken. And I got a limit break. Cool. And I also got uh, Ifrit's ignition. Okay. So, there are some things that I... Uh, well, if you shut up for a second. Okay, both of you, shut up. Shut up. Lady Hannah, amongst other things, though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right, we should arrange an introduction then. Okay, all right, you can stop talking while I explain some shit. So, when it comes to combat, there's this. I have dog button. I didn't realize that I can make him like do shit, like sick. I can have him heal me. I guess the heal is like on a cooldown. We're gonna have to test that out. And also, there is crafting. It was back at that mean-ass blacksmith that was mad mean at, to me. So I have to... It, so I'm going to craft shit that way. Okay, getting potions up. Torgo, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. All right, please hopefully this village ain't burned down. You know what would be r slash satisfying if I get to kill my mother at the end of the game? No. There's not enough animosity. Clive, for some reason, just seems to be fine with it. Like, Torgo, how'd you get all the way over here? How was you behind me? Oh, she just, she's very slow. Yep. Pretty much assume that if the old guy is dead, I will murder you all. What happened here? This nigga just pulling in his ticket. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Curious. Oh wow. You'll pay for this. Yep. Yep. You guys are. We've got a live one. I forgot. I gotta change that. I actually gotta change that. The scapes, did you brand it? You were born a slave, and you'll die one. No, I, w I literally was not born a slave. No, get no, fight back, fight back. No, this is what you get. No, I can't believe I was getting bodied for some reason. Okay, by a fucking um. Oh, please don't tell. Okay, we don't know if Hannah's dead or not. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. Who the hell is Annabella? Hold on. Oh, that this is literally his mother. Ooh, bitch. Get staggered again. Come on now. We ain't playing with that. Hey, stop hitting my dog, bro. Oh my god. Torgle. Torgle, no. Oh, that was close. All right, not level 22. I got a decent amount of, uh, I got a decent amount. So my mom ordered this. Okay, now it's on and popping. Oh, is everybody dead? No. Sorry, Lady you deserved so much better. All of these people did. Oh, that fucking sucks, bro. Better than my mother. Oh, we're too late. Yeah, Clive. you guys are too late. Clive. Everybody's fucking dead as shit. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. Who? Who's the op? 
come to us soon and none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. Yeah, I'm saying like how? Like I would start oh, killing people if like you're like, oh, you're trying to oppress me, huh? Oppress me. Free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Martin Luther Clive yeah. over here. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Okay. Thank you. All of you. Did that one girl burn off her, like, mark or whatever? Because she had, like, a big burn where her mark should be. Damn. And that means the old man is dead. Who the fuck is that? Hufflepuff head ass nigga. Lead me to your nest. You. <laughs> Okay, so he's with the. Uh, I almost said Dothraki. He's with uh. The fuck? What the fuck is their name? The fucking. Wh where the Earth Titan is, bro. I'm I'm not memorizing names, bro. They're like, yo, you need to go straight to this. Yo, this story is good so far. This shit's like Game of Thrones as fuck, but like. With a different the twist on it. Except th there's actually oh, stuff happening. To discuss. I'm sorry, I'm watching Game of Thrones in the background and like. Sound happy. What do you suppose it would be? Anyway, I've been watching Game of Thrones and let's just say, like, not uh, not enough is happening for me. Like, I, I like the drama, but also I like when there's also stuff happening as well. Let me talk to you. What do you got to say? Keep running. Or we can walk through this door. I was I literally just got here. Okay. Like keep running from one. Like I just got here. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. What? I have a feeling Sid's so, going to die by the end of the story. The answers you were looking for. I'm here for it. I don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. We're underselling the fact that, like, Satan. I also can suck other people's powers. Dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Mm. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. 
So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. I mean, that's cool and all. Finally get the, finally get to kill the bitch. White worm glare. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we would be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders... Okay, I need to know who these guys are exactly. Is this the Peel? Tywin Lannister? The Lissage. Emperor of the Holy Empire. Okay, so of Sand and Brick. Empire of Sand and Brick. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, so he's Bahama. Okay. Or oh, wait, hold on. Okay, no, his son is Bahamut. Okay. I was about to say, yeah, we saw, because I was like, wasn't he younger? That was his son. Okay. All right, here's the lore. A nation occupying the northeast, uh, northeastern reaches of the continent of Storm with the great city of Oriflame as its capital political power. The empire, the empire technically resides within uh, with the five cardinals. Okay. In the year 1860, at Emperor Sylvester's behest, uh, the Cardinals agreed upon a plan to liberate Rosaria from marauding forces of the Iron Kingdom, after which the Duchy had little choice but to bend the knee and become the Imperial Province. Okay. Okay, these are the five elders, the fucking Elder Stars head ass. If you know, you know. Uh, adver uh, advisors to the Holy Blah 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 and the highest body of government and empire. Mm -hmm. He was to serve as a constitutional monarch with his will to prevent the wishes. Okay. So, old fucks that ru rule shit. And every piece of fiction as well as real life. Old niggas ru ruin stuff. Kill all old people. I'm just joking. That is definitely a joke. There are cool old people. But kill the old people that are in power. Uh, a tiny independent state straddling the continents of storm and ash. It's twin uh, capital twin size. It builds tiny. Owl, uh, 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 the lack of dominant has seen the dominion become the subject of constant maneuvering over the years, both political and military. It was the only uh, stability. And then Aura Flame, capital of, okay. All right. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that. 
The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your mind... He's just holding a flower. These, ...you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds. And you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Mm. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. Oh, okay. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> I thought that's what they were doing already. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Yeah, this nigga dropped the biggest information. Like, yo, we got it. We conquer and we take it over. And they're like, how are we going to do this? And then he's like, I'm going to leave you all to that. Yo, that's why I hate fucking bureaucracy. Like, if you want to wage war and shit, think of a plan yourself. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Orther. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. So there's a difference between dominance and bearers, right? I gotta look that up because people are going to be mad. Like, oh, were you paying attention to the lore? I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? Oh. Are you mad? There's always the crystals, bro. I've been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self same crystals, we look to for their so called blessing. So what we destroy the mother's crystal. Okay. Explain it. flowers to conjure magics. Answer by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although admittedly this air fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. Mm. As to where it's all going, mind. Well, I can't know everything, can I? We are told that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Because, so motherfucker, that shit literally creates water it's sometimes. Inconvenient to who, exactly? It's a resource. The higher ups, the gods themselves. <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, 
there's only one fate that awaits the realm. Yeah, understandable. We very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Yeah, if there's no place to live. It sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one. What say you? Are you with me? I mean, it feels like we're taking on the final boss like right now. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. No, this is cooler. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. Into. Yeah, what have I indeed got myself into? For Fine. Ooh, look at this. Yo, look at this thing, bro. I look dope. Clive, Clive we got to rank these Final Fantasy protagonists because I think Clive is kind of up there, bro. Someone said, like, these quests are more mindless than, like, the Final Fantasy 14 quest. And I'm just like, no, they're just as, like, blah. they're just as, like, bland and blah. Go here, deliver this to that guy. Then go here and deliver this to that guy. And then once you're over, once that guy meets you, he's going to give you an item that you can just sit here. Excuse and then... me. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> and also, I was a slave, so I had to take orders. Mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Okay. <laughs> Look upset about then. it. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes. But that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. Oh, does that mean do dog? And should that plan fail? Well, we have our icons to fall back on. See that? I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, primary an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. Yeah. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cut us a path out of the capital on his own. Yeah, now you're just hyping me up, sir. You're going to put in some of the work. Out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. Okay. No fucking while you out of the mission. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I thought. Oh, this is a brothel. Uh, this is why he was like, hey, yo. Hey, yo, tell me what it feel like. No, let me stop. Did you say it was in these pies again? Give me one of those hams. Your biggest. Fresh fish. Fall from the sea of Christ this very morning. Okay. You there. Fancy a drop of the Empire's finest? No. If the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Okay, am I allowed to go this way? The gates for citizens, not serfs. Okay, so how do I? 
Sir, I, I gotta search for the dame. So, a woman that looks attractive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just. You, do you look? You look normal. How much for this one? Okay. Where the dame at, bro? Is there something? Hold on. I gotta look at the. No. Okay. It's like there's not any like weird motion blur that's on, right? The fruit's not getting any fresher. Oh, is this? Yeah, she is wearing the brightest colors of everybody, so. A moment, my lady. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Damn, okay. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. What? The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Damn. Do you think you could please me, Clive? Uh, maybe. You're the dame. Let us leave such. Impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? Uh, sure. You can trust me, yes, but why would you help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless what? Unless. <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Okay, yes. so you're trying to be my master? That will do nicely. Okay. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait. What do you what? want? Loki, I was expecting her to be better. She looks like a one step above a generic NPC. Isabel. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. So what? Who gave me this? And no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. You know, this thing is makeup? She clearly is wearing makeup. You can't just cover that shit up. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. All right, whatever. Madame, back to the vine already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl. What yeah. were the royalists about? <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. 
Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. What, bro? <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. I'd have slapped the shit. Like, I... Get out of my sight. Again, like, I don't understand, like, how people with powers could be, like, subjugated. Because I'd be like, oh, fire blast. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> I am the master now. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. Why? The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have... An arrangement. The pussy ain't that good. As do you and I. Now, if someone's an op. If you care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Okay. Alright. Fall this whore. I'm just joking. She's, well, she's l the literal definition of one, but... I'm just saying, follow this lady of the night around. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As you, my not dear. <laughs> Why did you lie to her like so that? One of the girls to a bath. That won't be necessary. Now, what do you want me to do? Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. <laughs> okay. All right. I was thinking more grandiose, not just a sign. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? Yeah, what do you I want? don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Uh, okay. Tatienne has been gone for several days now. Yeah, she did. No word of explanation. And I began to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Ooh, what's that? All these seals I need in order to fucking function, bro. Enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Uh. I should probably start here. Okay, just don't talk to me. Oh, you should start. Oh, Torgo's here. How did Torgo spawn here? How did you explain the dog? You, wench. Oh. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. She was in tears. She'd mm. lost her comb. A gift from the day. <laughs> That's it? Anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. Oh, okay. See, Sentimental. An I'm an she asshole. She the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank okay. you. 
All right, so the pro Let's see what I change to make my one thing. problem with this game is in juxtaposition to Final Fantasy 15, where it's just like an interesting environment, as well as interesting characters. Well, at least when it comes to uh, character designs, when it comes to like the main cast, as well as people outside the main cast, uh, they look interesting. Like anybody that's not Clive, Sid, or Jill all look like generic and MP- generic as fuck even like the people that like you are talk like like this or uh the madam or whatever the or uh the dame it just looks like one of these npcs or whatever just a little bit more uh with better facial capture and that's the one thing that I'm just like kind of sucks about it so you're the new escort uh. that's been talking about and you've already been sent off on an errand eh Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. Ew, what I'm real work? I ain't doing none of that work. Share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly what she meant. You do? Yeah, the tell why didn't you tell anybody? Garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatien and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Ooh. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Damn. His sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. Oh, okay. Good. I learned from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I love fucking people up. So, well, <laughs> give me a reason. All y'all suck, and I want to kill somebody. Excuse me, you there? No. Nope. The gentleman with the sword. No. Nope. Nope, nope. You there, the gentleman who's ignoring you. Okay. Heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil, then. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this not like a brothel, branded? Oh. Hold your tongue. Yo, y'all literally look like the same. One word from him and the bell's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. What? I haven't seen him around. Lately. Why is his name just oh, my yeah, name with the CK? Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. Oh, no. Thank you. I, I, was, I, I was asking for that. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. Okay, am I going to explain to her that I need to go chase after him? He may or may not be the person, so. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's... Why? According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is Become a man Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Okay. So I can't just go stabby, stabby, kill. I have to finesse. <sighs> I guess so. Oh, I vault over stuff. I just now realized that. Excuse me. You there? Say my... No. Yo, slavery the game. You love to see it. All right. The people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. 
So, Bertrand. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. <laughs> Just like women, am I right? <laughs> Courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's Damn. even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. I'll kill him. I'll kill them all. I'll let my dogs I'll stick my dog on him. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Okay, like don't talk to me. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I don't I come to you from Northreach at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, well, well, why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Whoops. What is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Been doing this dumbass. Which she <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Okay, it's just a regular comb. He insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. Okay. Know where he went after that. My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Yeah, all right, Sam. Sure Shut the fuck up. Her, won't you? That I was helpful, I mean. No. Nope. Most helpful. I wish there was the option for me to say no. Like, nah, you did this for nothing, bro. Be better. Do better. Got my ass running all the way around this place. Enemy slain. Please give me a decent amount of skill points. I need 500 fundo in order to get that new... That upgraded, uh, devil. What is it? Devil's embrace. Bodies. Is this her? Damn. Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. I knew it. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick. What? The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatien. You. Did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. You were sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. And you both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Damn. One day he sees her with well, at least he got bodied. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. If only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. 
He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Damn. <laughs> That's so dumb. Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northridge with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking you, of which, you you understand the power of pussy more, holds over everything. We're just like, happened. we shouldn't upset the dame because then she'll cut us off. And bussy, uh, I think like there's there's men and women there, so it's just like they need to get their nut off, bro. Respectfully, dead as a doorknob. I see, my dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Weather come, here you go, take it. I don't have much use for it, so here you go. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Ooh, okay. counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? All? This is no mere scum. Oh, yeah, because they're planning on just taking Quite over. Yes. I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. Yeah, there that means there's gonna be a lot of like leniency. I mean, this is what they get, bro. They get get fucking snuck up on because they fucking wanted to decide to do world domination. World domination. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new do you have any other thing to say than I didn't expect the new branded until the new moon? Ooh, ooh. My name is Snooty McSnooterson, and branded are worse than non branded because they have powers, which should be the opposite, bro. Same thing with Eggsman, bro. Just kill them all, bro. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, but I'm just saying, I would be Magneto, I would team Magneto. It's just like you they have a problem, bro. They can catch a fucking flame through the face. Enough said. End of story. Coming through the gate. 